morning everybody welcome back to up oh. okay <laughs> good morning from max also welcome back to another vlog today is wednesday january 10th 2024 and i'm gonna be vlogging like a full day of my life today like in-depth day in my life i feel like the past few months i've just been doing like week vlogs or like a few days of vlogs and I haven't which I realized I haven't done like a full day in my life and just brought you guys throughout a full day like more in depth so I really want to do that today and I just woke up and excuse you my dogs need to go out but it just started pouring rain and I I don't think I can go out there right now. So Mac is gonna bring them out. I am bringing my brother to the airport this morning. He's going on a vacation, like a little weekend trip, long weekend trip with his girlfriend and I'm giving them a ride to the airport in a little bit. So I'm gonna make breakfast before I go and make a coffee just so I can come home and then I have to, you know, start the day. Start the work day. I have a few things that I need to film today. And I have my workout with Mike. And I had a workout yesterday with him also. Sorry, I'm just waking up the house in the morning. The best feeling is like opening up all of the shades and like getting the house all ready for the day. I feel like just like brightens everything up. I'm feeling a little bit sore this morning. I worked out with Mike yesterday and I ran on monday i'm training for a half marathon right now so my trainer has me like doing a specific routine and stuff and i'm going to be documenting it i actually haven't figured out like where i'm going to document it yet if i well not where i'm going to document it i haven't figured out like how i'm going to document it because obviously i'm going to be talking about it in my vlogs but i really want to start doing like more videos on tiktok about it so let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in ever since i have been talking about running the half marathon so many people have messaged me and want to like see more about my like running journey and stuff like that i feel like there's so many runners out there and i didn't even realize until i started posting about it which makes me really happy so i'm excited about that but anyway i'm gonna make a smoothie this morning I had eggs yesterday, so I'm like, you know what, it's only right <laughs> to switch it up and make a little smoothie. We have spinach, a couple of dates. I'm making this for two people also, so... So I've been adding these electrolytes. To my water for the past few months and they're by the brand paleo valley i just ordered them on amazon i can link them down below but they are so good and you just add a scoop i can even get a hold of the scooper one scoop like this into your water and there is calcium iron magnesium sodium potassium like a bunch of different things in this and they're really good for you I work with a functional medicine doctor and she recommended these to me and I've been drinking them throughout the day and they've been making me so hydrated because I like hate drinking plain water. I don't know what it is. I just like don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> and even just like water with lemon right now I don't really love. So I've been loving these electrolytes. Also not the sun coming out and blaring. getting ready for my workout right now i have like a couple of things to do before i leave that i'm trying to get done right now and i just figured i might as well get ready my outfit on my hair needs to be washed today so i just put it back up in a bun and i've been using this little angel stick from mej and also the mej slick brush and it just kind of helps keep all of your flyaways down so i like to put it in like that and then take the brush and comb through my hair like that see and then it leaves it looking super soft and silky and what i like about this is that it doesn't make your hair crunchy 
And also I feel like when you go to wash your hair after, the product doesn't stick. Like it washes out pretty nicely. And I'm just finishing up some laundry right now. I have the towels going. I feel like all I ever do in the house is wash the towels. I don't know if any of you guys can relate. I feel like it's the most washed thing every single week. I feel like we go through so many. And I try to tell Mac, I'm like, you only need, you don't need to use a new towel every single time you shower. You know, like you can use the same one a couple times and then we will have less laundry to do. Oh, I also just opened up a few packages, which I want to show you. I want to do like a TikTok. Hold on, we're going to go into my room because the lighting is a little bit better. But I got a really exciting PR box in the mail and I couldn't wait to show you guys. I got a package from Say, which they're my favorite makeup brand. And my favorite blushes are the Say Dew Blush. I love their lip oils. I love their mascara. Like you guys just know I'm a huge fan. So they sent over a box with all of their Dew Blush shades in it and they came out with new shades and I'm so excited. So there's literally so many products in here and I just can't wait to try out the new shades. You guys know Rosy is my favorite and I also love Chili. I always am mixing these two. That's like my favorite. Oh my God. And they came out with a full size of baby. This blush was like a limited edition for the minis. Oh my God. And they came out with a big size. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to open them all up right now though to show you. Rosy is like this peachy shade. Very neutral, really pretty. Chili is dark. I love this one so much. Ooh, spicy, poppy. These shades already exist. This is like a nice coral, dreamy. Wait, yeah, these two. Is it dreamy or chili that I use? I can't remember, they're very similar. Okay, this one's new, I'm pretty sure, cutie. Cutie! I always call my little cutie, my little cutie. Ooh, I like that a lot. Then, oh, sweetie. So I think cutie and sweetie are the new shades. I wish I had a br- Is this a brush? I was literally just about to say, I wish I had a brush right now, because I want to put this shade on right now. I kind of want to try sweetie. Ooh. I want to do a full TikTok, like, swatching. And like trying on all the shades. I'm just gonna add a little bit right now. Oh, that's really pretty. I love how natural these blushes are. They're so blendable. And they're just very lightweight. I love the formula. Also. These are so good. If you haven't tried them out, you need to. And then they sent over their glowy super gel, which is... You put it on your face. I've seen people do it like under foundation. So I actually don't, I think I have a mini version of this. I don't have the full size, so I'm excited to use that tonight. And of course, a same mirror. Wow, the blush I feel like is not doing any justice on the camera, like in person. It's very pretty and it's very light and natural. And then I also got a few belts from Below the Belt. I'm like such a belt girl. I feel like all my outfits recently have just been very simple. Like I like wearing like a pair of jeans with a little t-shirt, like just like a plain top. So we have this belt right here, which is leopard love with gold hardware. And then I also got this one right here, which is like almost like a wine red. It's not brown. It's not really red. It's like a deep dark like wine shade and then i also got this one right here which is just a skinny gold hardware tan leather belt below the belt they have such cute belts they're my favorite they're like the best and i love them and excited to add these to my collection i feel like a belt just like really spices up any plain outfit like if you just do a pair of jeans or trousers with like a top I'm excited to wear this one
Green's too big for the screen. All right, run in there. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> uh, it's so fun training these two, to be completely honest. Goofy goobers, you know? Wow, let's see these push-ups. Let's see these push-ups. Maggie, what are you about to do right now? Actually, I need first and last name and exercise about to be completed. Hi. My name is Margaret Elizabeth. Oh, you can't even see. Oh, okay, what's your name? Margaret Elizabeth. Okay, and what are you about to do? I'm about to do kneeling push-ups. All right, let's see it. Go ahead. Let's see it. Push-up should be a moving plank, so as you can see, Maggie got that down. Hi guys. Oh my god, I just had like a weird little hiccup. I keep hiccuping. I don't know why. <sighs> just got done. Where? Like, where the heck is my purse? I've been listening to a lot of Future lately. I really like Future right now. Come to the realization, because I was a Spotify girl, but Apple Music sounds so much better on your phone and it sounds so much better in your car because of Apple CarPlay but <laughs> I've been like making new playlists because all my playlists are on Spotify I was just saying I'm a, I'm a Apple music girl now I think you have been I know for the past like couple of months but I feel like for like for all of the time no I've always been Spotify really yeah till like literally I I'm in the fall huh. but I have so much play so many playlists on Spotify that it's like I don't have any I know. Wait, I just um, do you remember the playlist, Puppy Milk? Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say I followed you literally yesterday on Spotify. I like randomly have that from 2012. <gasps> I can't feel my body. I'm proud of you though for staying so consistent. Cause doesn't it get easier? Well, that one wasn't as. But that was like if you did that in the beginning, Graydon, you would be. I know. It would be hard. I would have passed away. Like the workout was really good. I'm starving too. I was like starving before we even went. Oh. He told, Mike told me, since I'm 200 pounds, I have to be eating 200 grams of protein <laughs> a day. He's probably right. Do you know how impossible that probably is? Mm, 200 grams. I don't grams. think that that's impossible. One protein shake has what, like 40? Yeah. Okay, so where's the other one? Well, you just have to be eating consistently. I so know, like protein shake, in the morning or like after workout and then you have to be eating like breakfast lunch and dinner and then like have a protein shake like that's your thing is consistency yesterday all i had was this protein shake i made and the salmon bullet emma's <laughs> yeah you're in a deficit <laughs> i'm such in a deficit <laughs> in uh, a deficit girl material girl you need a chef no actually oh, you don't I'm you're good at cooking chef. it's just you need someone to hold you accountable about eating I just took such a good bath. One thing that I've been doing since I started this workout routine at the beginning of 2024, I almost said 2022, at the beginning of the year, I have been really prioritizing recovery and it's been so helpful for my body. I just feel so good. Oh, like I just took a bath with this mineral body salt. I'll show it to you guys. This is what I used. I used this aloe, hold on if it'll even focus, this aloe mindful magnesium bath soak. And then I also used the aloe glow body wash and it literally smells like citrus. It's so good. I always like to use like a body wash when I take a bath for my bath bubbles. That magnesium soak just felt so nice. It left my skin also feeling very, very smooth and like soft. But yeah, what I was saying was I've been really trying to just focus on recovery because I've been working out so much, like six days a week, and I've been doing some really hard workouts. I've been running, and yeah, so I feel like it's just very important to focus on recovery and also focus on hydration and eating. Those are like the three things that are most important for me right now. And I feel like it's really been affecting my, or not affecting, but impacting my sleep in a positive way because I've been sleeping so deeply and I feel like when I sleep, I like fall right to bed at night and 
I sleep really well throughout the whole night. And I feel like I, I don't know, my body's just like really resting and rejuvenating. <laughs> yeah, it's 427. Finally done for the day. While I was in the bath, I just finished up the rest of the work that I had. Editing a little video, sending it over that I had been filming throughout the course of the whole day. So I'm glad that that's done. And... There's a big string coming out of my robe right now. I want to film like a get ready with me tonight or something, but I don't know. I need to figure out what time I'm leaving because I'm going to the Celtics game tonight with Emma and Mac and he's at the gym right now. I don't know when he's going to be home. I don't know what to wear to the game tonight. I'm thinking, well, the game's at seven. It's 428. So there's two and a half hours hours until game time emma wants to get there at six because she wants to watch peyton warm up and she said mac and i could get there at six also but i didn't know if he wanted to go to dinner first but if he wants to go to dinner first we need to be like leaving in like or at dinner in like an hour <laughs> so i don't really know what's gonna happen also i just washed my hair and i have wet hair right now and i don't have a blow dryer so Hopefully it air dries fast, but I just, I'm trying to put together an outfit right now. I was thinking maybe tonight I could wear these green pants, Jenny Oguzio champion collab because it's chill. It's a Wednesday. So maybe I could wear these and then kind of do, it's like so windy out. It's like scaring me and then do like more of like a sporty, comfy, chill look. What do you think about that? My love. <laughs> time to get ready do a little bit of makeup i'm not gonna wear foundation tonight because my skin is looking really good today so i just want to you know put on a little bit to give myself that extra you know little zhuzh but i don't want anything too heavy i might uh, i'm thinking i was gonna do like a sunscreen Tinted sunscreen But I'm like do I want that or no Honestly I'm gonna put a little bit just to even out The complexion it's very light anyway, so it doesn't really matter And I just got one of these A new one which I'm happy about because sometimes I like to just do Some tinted sunscreen during the day and then like a little bit of blush over it Jan Marini tinted sunscreen. I'm just applying this with my hands, obviously. Also, sometimes I feel like it's a nice base for your makeup to be able to like kind of stick to something. If that makes sense, or am I like completely wrong? I have like a cut on my hand. I don't even know how I got that. Now we're gonna do a little bit of milk concealer. I'm in the shade 8C. I really like this concealer a lot. I feel so weird. I feel like I can't get ready when it's like completely silent. It's like so weird not listening to music. I like always have to listen to music when I'm getting ready. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and listen to a little bit of music, but I will link the products down below that I use, of course, because you guys know I got your back always, and I need to, I don't know, I need to like listen to something while I get ready. Just got ready for the game 
this is the outfit that I went with tonight and just chill because it's a Wednesday I wanted to wear a sweatshirt I went with this one from Orson Iris because it's still very cute it's like has these pockets right here and it's navy and then these pleated jeans and then I'm wearing my Dior Converse, which I haven't worn in the longest time, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to bring them out for the game tonight since I haven't worn them in a while. And I really wanted to wear sneakers with this outfit. I tried it on with boots, and I honestly just like the way that the sneakers look better. And I'm going to use this mini vintage Dior bag to match the shoes and keeping my hair down tonight. Just put on a pair of like thin gold hoops, and that is the fit. Go Celtics, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to game night. Right, right, right. Game night.